Welcome to Contextual Electronics. My name is Chris Gamble. Today we're going to be going over a feature in the schematic editor, also known as EE Schema, which I find really useful, but I never used until about a year ago, maybe a little bit more than that, uh, for reference for when I'm making schematics. Um, so let's take a look here. So this is the, the feature is down in the lower right corner, uh, down here. Uh, there is a little camera button, and I thought at first I saw this and I thought, oh, well, that's probably like a screenshot of what we're doing here. It's actually, if you mouse over, it says add bitmap image. Now, why would you want to do that? You might want to do that like if you want to put your logo. A lot of people put their logo right here. That's kind of nice, you know, to have that, you know, just as part of your schematic. The thing that I use it for though is this. So I click it here, um, and then I'm going to insert a image that I had downloaded from the internet. I used a lot of Teensy 3.2s in past designs, and when I'm hooking these things up, I need to know how to actually hook them together. So what I do is I actually go and grab the, the diagram here. This is something that I was flipping back and forth to all the time in a, you know, a browser window next to it. And I found that I could just insert this here so that I, when I go to, oh, what is pin 7? OK, that's D out in RX3. So I know what I can use that for. Same thing like, oh, pin 14, that's A0 and S clock. OK, so, so basically having all that stuff here, understanding what the, uh, you know, there's a lot of diagrams for, for different development boards that are out there. When I'm using development boards, I want to know quickly what pin I can use for what, and that's really useful here. Uh, another nice thing is that if you actually keep it outside of the frame here, is that it's a, uh, it does not print. So let's go to print the schematic here. And so let's just do a preview of what we're going to do. And you see that the, uh, there's actually no, there's no mention of it because it is outside the frame here. Now, there are multiple sheets because these are actually hierarchical sheets. So these are just uh, the, the various um, inter interleave sheets in there, basically. So there's a bunch of different versions, one, two, three, four. That's the other sheets there. Uh, but you notice that the, the graphic is not in there. Now, if I was to put this inside the frame, like I mentioned, if you wanted to put this you know, down here, say this was a logo instead, now if we go to print it, we should see it in the preview. And now we do see it down there. So this is a great way to basically add alternative information. You're, obviously, you're always able to add information by hitting something like T, adding in. Like you could add in a list of you know pin one is ground or something like that. You know you could put that list in there and insert this into your into your diagram. But I, I find that the, the graphics and especially with the graphics having all of the uh, the reference pins and, and things like that, I find that to be really useful. So this is just a short tip how to add a little bit more information to your schematic. I think it's a, uh, a really useful thing for when you're, especially when you're coming back to projects. I have projects that I go back to that are, well, this one we're looking at. This is a three or four year old project here. And so having information in there, especially when there's microcontrollers or development boards involved, I find that really, really useful. You can always link in uh, data sheets as well, especially if you're, you know, if you're working more at the chip level instead of the development board level. That's another great way to do it. You can always link directly to the PDF from the part there. That's all for now. Uh, if you want to learn more about how to build a board with a development board and, and add on to development boards, you can do it so over at contextualelectronics.com. That's a course where we teach you how to build things like this, this board we're looking at here, the, the schematic, I suppose. We also talk about this stuff at the Contextual Electronics Forum. That's forum.contextualelectronics.com. And if you have feature suggestions or you want to talk about KiCad itself, that's forum.kiCad.info. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.